Chairman of Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Da Nang City pays visit to Pentham Special School. Ensuring effective fire prevention and fighting at venues taking place at park events. Vietnamese Dragon Fruit Day in Australia. Hello, welcome back to the RT News. Chairman of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Da Nang City, Dung Pit Kim Lee, has just paid a visit and presented gifts to children at the Thantham Special Private School on the occasion of the Mid-Autumn Festival 2017. Visiting the school, Chairman of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Da Nang City wished the children have a joyful and warm mid-autumn festival together with their peers. The Chairman of the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee also recognized and highly appreciated the efforts of the officers and teachers of Thanh Tham Special School in taking care of and educating children with physical and intellectual disabilities. She also expressed her desire that in the coming time, Thanh Tham School would continue making every effort to improve children's soft skills, providing them opportunity to get access to the early intervention methods and quickly integrate into the community. In order to ensure the work of fire prevention, fighting and rescue, at venues taking place the events in the framework of APAC Economic Leaders Week, the Da Nang Fire Prevention and Fighting Police Department has actively cooperated with relevant units to set up and practice many firefighting and rescue plans. Determining the APAC Economic Leaders Week as a crucial event to be held in Da Nang City, right from the beginning of this year, the Da Nang Fire Prevention and Fighting Police Force has developed plans and organized rehearsals to practice 25 cooperative plans on fire prevention and rescue at venues serving the APAC Economic Leaders Week. In addition to strengthening the inspection and control at accommodation facilities and ensuring on-site equipment and personnel for firefighting, their practices have also helped to improve the capacity of firefighters and staff at accommodation establishments, maximizing the ability of the whole force when an incident happens at the event, ensuring absolute safety for guests and delegates attending the APAC Economic Leaders Week in Da Nang City. Being the only provider of telecommunication and information technology services for the APAC 2017, VNPT has served dozens of events within the framework of the forum taking place since the end of 2016. In order to prepare for the APAC Economic Leaders Week taking place in Da Nang in early November 2017, VNPT has conducted surveys and completed the plans to deploy the service network. Specifically, the unit has carried out surveys and prepared for the information infrastructure at 41 hotels and 14 locations where the meetings will take place and the APAC delegates and correspondents will take a rest at. VNPT has already prepared 10,000 meters of fire optic cables and some generators etc. In preparation for the emergency response activities, VNPT also sponsored the International Media Center for the APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017 with a total amount of two 11 billion dollars. On October the 2nd afternoon, the People's Committee of Kamle District held a meeting to review the work of site clearance and premises handover of the project on Building Street along the railway section from Huiti Junction to Hakam Overpass. The project on Building Street along the railway section from Huiti Junction to Hakam Overpass has an investment cost of nearly $145 billion. This route will be more than 5.5 km long and 5.5 m wide. To implement this project, 820 residential houses were partially cleared under the cooperating method between the state and residents. After more than one year of implementation, with the efforts of government district related agencies and the consensus of local residents, so far the work of site clearance has completed. Currently, more than 60% of the construction volume has been accomplished. This construction is expected to be completed in February 2018. 
The Danak Software Business Association said that the unit would boost the development of IT startups, providing support and assistance so that young businesses would have more opportunities to grow in the future. Moreover, it is important to increase the connection among members, especially the connection in software business and export, in order to facilitate the development of the city's software industry. So far, Dana Software Business Association has had 63 members, including leading companies in software outsourcing and IT human resource training such as FSoft, Asnet, VPPO, Exxon Active, Green Global, Unitech, MacRabbit, and Asian Tech. According to the General Statistics Office, the country's CPI in September 2017 increased by 0.59%. Particularly in Da Nang, this index continued to rise by 0.64% over the previous month. The factors which led to the increase in local CPI are fuel prices and expenses for the new school year. Specifically, among 11 CPI commodity groups in the city, the education group experienced the highest rise of more than 5% thanks to the strong increase in purchasing power of educational goods before the school year. The group with the second highest rise is traffic, with more than 1.6%. Due to the impact of two petrol price hikes on September the 5th and 20th, the group experiencing the third highest increase in CPI is construction materials, which is up by nearly 0.8% over the last month. The eight remaining groups maintained stable or increased slightly compared to the previous month, of which food and catering services remained relatively unchanged with a slight decrease in the group of food. Recently, in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, has just taken place the Vietnamese Dragon Fruit Day. The event was jointly organized by the Vietnamese Trade Office, the Vietnamese Embassy, and the Vietnamese Enterprise Association in Australia, with the aim of welcoming and promoting the first fresh dragon fruits of Vietnam which enter the Australian market. The event was organized one week after the first batch of Vietnamese dragon fruits being shipped to Australia. Responding to the Vietnamese Dragon Fruit Day, many overseas Vietnamese, international students and visitors, as well as Australian in Melbourne City, came to enjoy and brought the fresh dragon fruits of Vietnam. The Vietnamese dragon fruit was sold at 30 Australian dollars per kilo equivalent to 540,000 dongs, thanks to its high quality and eye-catching appearance. By opening up a new market of Australia, the Vietnamese dragon fruit is expected to be listed among the groups of fruits with export value at 1 billion US dollars. On October the 2nd afternoon, the Museum of Military History of Vietnam, in collaboration with the Center of Supporting Literature and Arts Creation, under the Ministry of Culture, Sport and Tourism, organized the workshop on arts composition themed Armed Forces Revolutionary War. The workshop attracted 15 artists nationwide, some of whom have participated in the workshop for the first time. But there are a great deal of participants who have many years' engagement with the topic of armed forces, even direct involvement as soldiers in the resistance war against the U.S. troops. Taking place in 15 days, from the 2nd to the 16th of October, the art workshop creates a platform for participants to exchange, share intergenerational experience in composing arts, and finding inspiration to create valuable artworks, participate in the National Art Exhibition on Armed Forces Revolutionary World. That's all for today's news. Please log on to dit.dianog.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.